What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are talking about my ultimate game streaming setup. I'm gonna be jumping back into Twitch here pretty soon, so if you don't follow me there, be sure to check out my channel. It's linked down in the description below. But I wanted to show you what I'm gonna be using, how I'm gonna be gaming, and the things that go along with my setup here. So let's get into it. So first up, many of you know, I built that gaming PC probably a few years ago, but it is an absolute beast. Inside, I have two 2080 Ti's, a 9900K, and 64 gigabytes of RAM and if you haven't seen the video for this setup I'll definitely be sure to drop a link in the description for you below but it just it just works I mean it, that's what else can you say it's still a beast today I haven't upgraded anything in it I did a complete custom loop inside of it and everything just looks perfectly pristine using acrylic tubing I absolutely love it it's my baby for sure now right behind me is the monitor for the entire setup and this is a 32 inch curved BenQ gaming monitor I absolutely love the thing I'll leave all the specific details about it and a link to it if you want to check it out for yourself down in the description but it games like a monster. Now, right above the monitor, I have a couple of things that I'm using for this setup. The first of which being the Elgato Keylight Mini. I absolutely love the thing. It's rechargeable. It has variable color temperatures. It is very, very bright for how small it is. And it's just an absolute awesome light to have all around. Next up, I wanna talk about the camera right next to that light. And this video is sponsored by Anchor Work. And this little camera, the C200 that they have, is absolutely amazing. This thing has a 2K HD resolution. It also has a built-in privacy cover, which is pretty cool. And we have automatic low light compensation. So you don't have to worry about if you don't have a light next to your camera, you're not gonna be in trouble there. But on top of that, it does also have an adjustable field of view from 65 degrees to 95 degrees, and it has two microphones on it. So you do have some noise cancellation there as well. It does even pack autofocus. And on top of that, it works with Windows, or Mac computers, so you don't have to worry about you know compatibility issues. You're covered on either side of that. But I did want to point out that they also do have another camera, which I'm very fond of. This, my friends, is the B600 video bar, and this thing actually has a light and a camera built into it. You got the same 2K resolution. There's a four mic array on this thing and it even has two two watt speakers. So you have speakers, you have light, and you have the camera. Uh, all you got to do is start hook this thing up and start gaming like it's really that simple so the b600 but i personally prefer the elgato key light mini and the c200 camera from anchor work so definitely be sure to check out both of these cameras i will leave links for them down in the description for you in case you want to pick one up for yourself as far as my other peripherals, I'm using an Asus ROG keyboard and I have a Corsair wireless mouse, which most of the time I just have wired so the battery doesn't die, but that's a nice feature of it as well. On top of that though, I also have an Xbox controller here. So when I'm in GTA 5, I can drive with the controller because honestly, I am terrible at driving with the keyboard. Now on the far left side of the desk behind me here, I keep the desk pretty minimalistic. I don't have like a lot of clutter going on, a lot of things going on, but I do have a Nest speaker there so I can play some tunes you know, jam out while I'm playing some games. And on top of that, I have this pretty cool retro looking display called Tidbit and they actually had sent this out to me and I was like, you know what? That would look really cool on my gaming setup. So the Tidbit is actually pretty nice because it can change between different screens. You can customize everything within the app. And honestly, I totally recommend it. I definitely check it out using the link down in the description below. And in fact, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description, obviously. So be sure to check all of that out. I'm also using a stream deck mini so I can have some hotkeys and commands available at my fingertips right beneath the monitor there. And the entire setup is actually built on top of an Ikea kitchen countertop and these Alex drawers from Ikea that I've had for quite some time. But that's pretty much it for my ultimate game streaming setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I have a video on that PC build that I did a while back. If you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, link down in the description for you. But I'm curious to know what you think about everything. Do you like my setup? Do you hate it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. You let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, like I said, go ahead and follow me on Twitch because I'm definitely going to be streaming some games there in the near future. So check that out. And if you're new here to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. Also follow me on Instagram. What are you doing with your life? There's tons of fun that's happening over there. So be sure to do that. Thank you so much for watching everyone though. I really do appreciate it. It. Once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.